Tapi tapi bro. It was almost 7 in the morning when we went to the airport. It was drizzling because a storm was approaching. We just ordered our breakfast at McDonald's. What I just had was apple pie. This was the first time I traveled inter islands, during or should I say, post pandemic. It's been a while. Missing the travel scenario here. We arrived almost 12 noon. Supposedly, we should have been at Naiya by 11 but there was an air traffic congestion, thus the delay in landing. It's my fourth time here in Manila. The first time was in 2010 and I was with Jelly also. <laughs> that was the time when we attended a leadership training in Baguio City. It was holiday that is why most of the stores were closed. No duty was allowed. <laughs> So sad. Anyway, we went immediately to our all-time favorite fast food chain, Jollibee. We just ordered an airport police officer. Just kidding, I mean chicken for lunch. Then, we booked a grab car to Jelly and Nestor's hotel. Afterwards, we proceeded to the first item of our itinerary, National Museums. I didn't know that Nestor owns a building here. <laughs> first, was the National Museum of Fine Arts. Taking of videos inside the premises is not allowed. So, I just would like to share some of my favorite snapshots inside the museum. After the National Museum of Fine Arts was National Museum of Anthropology. The National Museum of Anthropology, formerly known as the Museum of the Filipino People, is a component museum of the National Museum of the Philippines which houses ethnological and archaeological exhibitions. <laughs> 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 
because it's almost cut off time, we rushed our way to our next destination, the recently opened National Museum of Natural History. <laughs> This museum has a neoclassical architectural style. It houses Lolong, the largest crocodile in captivity. Then, we took a Kalisa ride going to Intramuros. We dropped off at Plaza Roma. The plaza is considered to be the center of Intramuros. It's just a walk away from the Manila Cathedral. Then we went to Binondo through Jones Bridge. Binondo is a district in Manila and is referred to as the city's Chinatown. After a long and tiring walk, we found ourselves here at Sincerity Cafe and Restaurant for our dinner. It was my first time eating an authentic Kikim. Of course, the highlights of the night, Jones Bridge and the newly inaugurated Binondo Intramuros Bridge at night. We went through Manila Cathedral again for a photo op. Then, proceeded our way to Fort Santiago. Jose Rizal statue, standing 4 feet 11 inches tall. Hey, hey. 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 H
may gantan tabi 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 dyan pa lang ang mataasan sa vlog kayo ha Ini studi ni ikut sini. Tanah video. After that exhausting tour, Jelly and Nestor insisted to accompany me going to Quezon City, where my hostel is located. We arrived almost 11 in the evening. I was assigned to female pods because I was the only male guest that night. A total of three guests at that particular night. Here's the view of my capsule. But I still used the comfort rooms of the mail pods. The CR was so clean and inviting. I could live here. I truly enjoyed my privacy here for two nights. Time to go home. Bye for now dormitos. We'll definitely check in the soonest again. Outfit check. I just took a taxi to Tagig City where we would meet for lunch. In 200 meters, merge onto Epifanio de Los Santos Avenue, Pan Philippine Highway.
Then, we stroll through the mall stores. Afterwards, we went straight to Naia. Queue was long. Many were coming home for the Holy Week. Just tired legs. <laughs> Arrived safe and sound by 5.30. Then we just had our dinner at SMCDO Downtown Food Court. I just bought some sweet bites from SB 19's Godmother, Dunkin' Donuts. Setting everything in and we're good to go home. Arrived by 11 p.m. All for the greater glory of God.